Hey there, Pipers. Thanks for tuning in to the March edition of the Piper Report. We've had some great warm, sunny days recently, and some not-so-sunny days. However, spring break is just around the corner, and students are very excited to get going. Also, everyone is looking forward to hearing who the new university president will be, which should be announced shortly. Which begs the question, what are students looking for in the new university president? What qualities do we hope that they have? Let's find out. I hope the new president works hard to connect with students. Um, approachable. They listen to just the entire student body. I hope the new president is personable and easy to talk to. I really hope that our next president has a genuine interest in student involvement and um, attends student events. This month, Hamlin students participated in the Day at the Capitol event. This event is sponsored by the Minnesota Private Colleges Council. Day at the Capitol gives students the opportunity to go to the Capitol and talk with their legislators about the Minnesota State Grant Program. I highly recommend that they try out this experience. It's really good to see your legislators and talk to them and get the word out that, hey, Minnesota State Grant is actually very important to us, not just them hearing it from people who represent them, but the people who actually are um, involved with this grant. I wanted to participate because I understand how important it is to have a Minnesota State Grant. I myself have one and it helps to pay for tuition and helps lessen the burden on my parents to help pay for college and then when I get out of college it will help with me dealing with what I have to pay off in private loans. I met with Dave Hancock. He was pretty perceptive. He understands the need base for private colleges and that it's not just because we go to private colleges because we're rich kids, it's because we go to private colleges because they, they fit what we need. Jack Bryan here reporting for the Piper Report. I'm on the fan bus and we're about to leave Stevens Point, Wisconsin, where the Hamlin Pipers unfortunately were just defeated by the Stevens Point Pointers. However, men's Hamlin hockey team, your fans have something to tell you. We And don't forget, my champs, my champs, my champs. My name is Eric Yakel and I am the new Husk president for the upcoming year. My name is Race Rodney and I'm the vice president for the upcoming year. And we're, we're excited, excited to start, start something new. new. You know, Husk is just kind of like that next step to where like we can really make a huge difference on campus, um, impact the students, like give students reasons to to you know really enjoy their time here at Hamlin. I believe Husk is here that will, to kind of bridge that gap between the administration, like the board of trustees and all the deans, that's what Husk is here to do. The president and the vice president, they meet with them, they express the concern of the student body on campus to make sure that there is effective change and that campus kind of bends to the will of the students as much as it can. Mm -hmm. Why Husk is important to me, I'd say I just really want to see students' ideas move from just that dream and see them be put into action. And I think Husk, at least to me, that is the most important aspect. I hope to really make Husk like 
it's you know so it's the student government like you know the the slogan right now is like your voice like represented and stuff husk is the direct relationship from students to administration like that's you know there's meetings with the president of the universities meetings with the dean of students the provost all that happens with husk it's it's the direct relationship so making sure that all hamlin students know and you know know the process processes of husk so that they can learn how to make a difference um so i think as like vice president you know, making Husk like an easier um, outlet or easier resource for students to use. If you want to get involved, I say go for it. I mean, there's no time like the present. And in the end, if you didn't like it, it was a great experience that you can say and look back on, hey, I was a part of a student government and I got some stuff done. I helped, con I helped the campus improve. And I think that's what Husk is all about. Thanks again for tuning into the Pipe Report. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like down below and subscribe to Hamlin University's YouTube page. You can watch more Piper reports, interviews, inside looks into programs and majors, and student life and campus events. Still want to learn more about being a Piper? Make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at HamlinU. Tweet at us using the hashtag Piper Report to tell us what you'd like us to cover next. We'll see you next month. Run together and um, so really like continuing that like bouncing ideas off each other making it you know the ideas that we have and then with the our you know executive board and then you know all the students that bring ideas to like really making those the best that they can be is uh, you know that's like you know teamwork makes the dream work it's kind of you know like that I also wanted to increase transparency because when we were getting those 50 signatures to even get on the ballot, 
people had no idea. A few people didn't even know what Husk was. So that was kind of interesting. And on top of that, most people didn't know what they were doing or what was going on or what the status of our truly represented voice was doing. So I would just really love to work on that as well as just, as Racy would say, moving past Cusk as a bank.